My name is Batia Glazer. My parents, the late Velvel and Frieda Glazer, Zichronam Levracha, were both Holocaust survivors. We arrived in Cape Town from Israel in 1954 at the invitation of my father's only surviving relative, his brother Nochem Glazer in Cape Town. I was 18 months when we arrived in Cape Town and I remember a feeling that pervaded our home. And I can only describe it as a deep sense of sadness. It was never spoken about, it was never mentioned, but it was there. And I've wondered as an adult when it was that I first heard and understood the meaning of the Holocaust. The Israeli writer David Grossman has written an essay and in it, a line in it struck me very deeply. In it he writes, it was the first time I truly understood the meaning of the Holocaust. And it is no exaggeration to say that this comprehension shook my entire world. My parents invested all their energies in the here and now. They merely got on with things. And that's when I learned to get on with things, which has always been something positive in my life. They never burdened me with any of their past history. What I'd like to mention next is my sense of our family was different to my friends' families, to my classmates' families, and being aware of it as a young child. My family spoke Yiddish at home and had thick East European accents. My friends' families spoke English at home and spoke with no thick accent. My family came from over there, whereas my friends' families were from over here. They were born and bred here. They belonged here. I was always aware of not causing trouble for my parents, being sensitive to the fact that they'd had enough trouble in their lives and I was adamant not to cause them any more. Illness was another issue in our home which caused much anxiety. I did my best to hide the fact that I did have a cold and remember in the middle of the night if I had a cough, coughing into my pillow so that I could muffle the sounds of my cough. Once again, I didn't want to cause my parents any further anxiety. So, I kept my illness to myself as much as possible. My parents left me with the richest legacy I could have ever hoped for. A legacy that I feel 
is part of me each day. Top of that list has got to be the Yiddish kind I experienced in our home and still carry in my heart as an adult. That is an experience I'm aware that not everybody got and I feel exceptionally lucky to have received that from my parents. They also continue to believe in Judaism, whereas some survivors rejected their religion after the Holocaust. This gave me a strong sense of identity, which I carry unto this day. My parents were both Zionists and imbued me with a love for Israel which I also so appreciate. Not only the love for Israel, but the love for the language. My parents loved me fiercely. And at times, I must have felt claustrophobic, especially when I was trying to perhaps separate from them. But that also gave me a strong sense of identity. My father gave me my family in Cape Town, a family that was warm and loving and who in many ways left me feeling secure after having lost so many of our family in the Holocaust. My aunt and uncle were the grandparents that I never had, that had been murdered in Europe. My parents also gave me a wonderful interest in music and in ballet. They gave me another family called Sherita Plata, the many other Holocaust survivors who formed an association in Cape Town and as a group who felt like family to me. Our house was always bubbling with wonderful food. My mother was a, a wonderful cook and baker and also filled with people who my mother related to, people who, for instance, came from Russia to play in the orchestra in Cape Town and only spoke Russian. That was my parents' legacy. So many languages, so many cultures. Do I have any regrets? Yes, I, th I think my largest, my biggest regret was that I didn't have the words to ask them so many questions about their families, about their lives. But we didn't have the words for those questions. They weren't formulated yet. And it's a part of my relationship with my dear parents that I will have to just accept.